first time in months, the state capitol is quiet. Minnesota lawmakers are home this weekend for a long Passover Easter holiday break. So how are they doing? Well, that's why Pat Kessler is here. Hi, Pat. Hey, Amelia. Yeah, you're right. The Minnesota legislature has left the building. Traditionally a time when lawmakers go back home and get feedback from the voters and also probably grades on how they're doing. From this to this. The legislature has fled the Capitol for family time, but the politicking hasn't stopped. If Governor Dayton's budget becomes law, state-funded government spending will skyrocket by 22 percent. The outside conservative group Freedom Club is running a series of television ads decrying Dayton's budget. And another pulled up to the Capitol with a soup kitchen, predicting a Dayton depression. Because jobs will be gone. People won't have jobs. They'll be more, more dependent on, on government programs. The cost of government is going to go up. It's a vicious cycle. Meanwhile, Democrats are pushing back, calling GOP public relations efforts politically clever but false. If they really want to hand out soup and help people out here, what they could do is propose a budget solution that doesn't throw the most vulnerable in the state under the bus. I'll give myself an A. And an A-plus for effort. Governor Dayton sent a budget to the legislature in February, and it's been thoroughly roughed up. And if he's giving himself high grades for his work so far, so are Republicans to themselves. I give him an A. <laughs> I give her an A-plus. <laughs> oh. Man, they are high graders. Actually, it is probably most accurate to give them an incomplete. After all, the session is breaking for the mid-session point. They haven't fixed the budget, and that's what they came here to do, Amelia. They will be back next week and back at it to the end sometime in May. All right. Thanks, Pat.